What's up guys, my name is Fleck, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about V3 of the tennis ball launching apparatus. It is significantly beefier, um, it's not as tight, so hopefully um, it still has pressure. But we're going to still be firing these uh, East German Blakes, and we're going to try it out and see how far it goes this time. The last uh, test, the ball went 117 feet-ish. Um, didn't find it until after the frack, so... Uh, I took a tape measure to it, and it was 117 feet. So hopefully this time, it goes further. All right, All right here is test two using version three. I'm going to angle it in the same direction, and here we go. Look at that. All right. So, all right, so here we go, looking down the barrel. Um, blew a hole in the tennis ball. I'm assuming that's what that, those yellow particles are. But it launched it significantly uh, further, I think. We're going to try again, and I'm going to measure this, and then we're going to try again. We're going to measure this, and then we're going to try again. Try to use the same tennis ball. It's got a hole in it, but we're going to try it again anyways. No. All right, guys. Found the ball. It is right here. Uh, it hit that tree and bounced back. The other tennis ball landed about five feet right there on the ground from me. Um, and yesterday that, yesterday that was 117 feet. This would have kept going if it did not hit that tree. So we're going to try again with this ball and hopefully it works. I have more tennis balls, but I also have tons of blanks. So I can do this all day long. All right. So we're going to reuse this tennis ball. I'm going to put it where the hole is down, right how it was before. Gonna charge. Alright, here we go. Number two. <laughs> that one, that one curved and hit the same tree. Alright, fresh tennis ball going right back into the hole. Eject. New blank. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go. Oops. <laughs> Alright, this time. For real. Going to try to angle it down a little bit. Here we go. All right, that one didn't go as far. I'm guessing guessing because I angled it down, depressed elevation. But so far, it's holed up uh, perfectly. So. <laughs> All right, so that one went about, say, 95 feet before it hit this tree right here. So we're just going to keep doing it until this ball blows apart. <laughs> this ball is pretty much done. Um, so I'm going to go get another ball and we're going to do it until I run out of blanks. All right, we're gonna fire it directly up, see how high it goes. Here we go. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Good stuff. Not it. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, maybe make it longer or print some kind of piece of plastic to put inside with the ball so it protects the ball from being punctured, punctured like that. All right, so the tennis ball launching apparatus worked perfectly, increasing the diameter and thickness of the launcher itself allowed it to withstand the pressure from the blanks. It fired a little over 100 feet to about 135. Um, I want to test it again out in the open to get to measure the full distance of the shot but so far it's worked beautifully. Um, didn't have any problems other than the uh, blanks punching a hole into the tennis ball. I think what I'm going to do is print a small circular piece of plastic to load inside of the launcher with the tennis ball so when it fires it protects the ball from being punctured. So reusing the ball over and over again led it to fall apart. Uh, the first shot with a clean and fresh tennis ball went a little over 130, 135, 
um, but reusing a already punctured tennis ball went about maybe 60, 70, 75. Um, and then once it started to really um, fall apart, it didn't go but maybe 30 or 40. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna print a small piece of plastic to go on the inside, hopefully about the same diameter, maybe a little smaller, um, to load with the tennis ball just to protect it. Um, but other than that, it worked perfectly. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. I have 62 subscribers right now. Uh, I hope to come out with more content in the, here in the future. Um, I have some ideas lined up, but yes, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.